All right, guys, so welcome to part three of this tutorial series. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing the right hand side of ARCHICAD here, which I would say is probably the most confusing part of the software to learn. But once you learn that, you will pretty much be good with the rest of it. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. And if we have time, we'll cover a couple more things in this. Uh, in this tutorial. So one of the most important things that we need to be able to do obviously for this uh, profession is be able to print out the layouts or export them to PDF or DWG formats so that uh, we can get them to plan checkers at our local uh, our local um, cities um, and also to different if you're working in a big company, maybe a different department within your company, like the engineering uh, department, or if you're, you know, outsourcing to an engineering firm, you can get it to them in uh, a format that they that they would like. Um, but in, anyway, usually you'll you'll want to share the the actual pages where the drawings go. So th this right here, like I said in a previous video, this is just a canvas. So um, we're gonna go ahead and jump over to where. Our pages are and like I said um, it's uh, gonna be on this side of the uh, the ARCHICAD window so we'll, we'll go through what each of these are in just a second but just so you know our pages uh, will show up here in our layout book okay so if we want to find our floor plan let's go ahead and head over to our layout book so I'm gonna click there um, and uh, usually so in the template that we started with, the ARCHICAD 26 built-in template, there's a couple of folders that are already created for us. So we've got the master layouts here. I'll explain what those are in a second. We've got a folder here titled schematic design, and then another folder here titled design development and construction documentation. So these are these were already created for us, but if you're starting ARCHICAD from scratch and you're not using uh, one of their templates, um, you know, uh, you won't have any of this actually. Um, so let's go ahead and look through this folder. Um, we have a cover sheet here, so that should just be one sheet. Um, and then if you see this symbol here, this is the layout symbol. Um, so this is kind of, if you double click, it'll take you to the actual page. So it's giving us like a little preview of our 3D model there. Um, uh, and then we've got our sheet index, which is auto-generated for us, um, and we'll, you know, we'll get into how to do that later on, in probably a separate tutorial. But um, you've got some sheet layouts. Uh, looks like you've got a scale here for for a drawing that should show up here. I'm not really sure what drawing that is, but let's see. So we've got the 3D schematic view, the cover sheet. I guess that's this. Uh, I see it's this thing that says cover sheet um, and then the sheet index and then this other part here is kind of it's grayed out um, and so this is it's got the contact company and so forth things that you want to have on a cover sheet um, and usually these you'll want these um, these layouts to basically automatically fill in with the project details um, and I, I can make a separate video on that later, but for now, um, we're just kind of navigating through uh, the layout book, which is, again, where our sheets are, are located. Um, let's go ahead and go back to, so we looked at the cover sheet, architectural site plans. So if I go here, you can see that it's pulling in that architectural site plan. Now, it's not showing us the full site plan. Um, or any dimensions or text. We have we also haven't really added any, but it's obviously not showing the full lot here. So that means we probably want to change the scale on that. It looks like the scale here is one inch is equal to ten feet. So that's a pretty big scale. We don't usually use that one, but that's our site plan. That's where it's um, basically auto generating it in that page. And then we've got some floor plans here. Um, so SD3, so SD I assume just means schematic design, uh, and then 3 means page 3 probably, that's what I'm guessing. Um, 
and then you can see that it's showing up here and it, it, it's got some graphic overrides that are changing the colors of the walls and so forth um, we've got the windows there but yeah I mean everything is uh, we're missing our dimensions actually we're missing quite a few things the section markers are showing up um, it looks like we've got some tables here that were uh, automatically included for us for square footage, floor area, volume, although they don't have anything in them and we may mess with those later, we may make our own, but for now let's just kind of um, go through this a little bit. I'm going to just kind of click through these at random. So these are not showing anything because we don't have a roof plan, we don't have a second or third floor, so that's fine. Our elevations, we can see they're auto-generated here um, in separate pages. Um, and we can, we can change these, um, you know, if you want to uh, put some of them together in the same page, we can do that. And then here they're showing up in color on this page, but we'll probably not want that for documentation purposes. Although if you're an architect and you're, uh, you know, trying to show some of the, some of the more artsy side of the profession, I guess that's fine. And then you've got your sections here for engineering or, I mean, yeah, this is, usually only required for engineering purposes for the engineering documents um, but that's that's that folder so again this is where our pages are now um, where do these drawings come from so these drawings are pulled from the the model right so this is our model uh, over here um, but more more precisely you could say that these these drawings or these uh, these drawings with these filters and layer combinations, those are pulled from this second tab here called the view map. Okay, so if I um, if I go there, I have these layers. This is a view called all visible and unlocked. So essentially, this just means that all of our layers will be visible and unlocked. Um, and so if I double tap that, it'll take me to this. Uh, this part of the, um, the di this window here where it'll show basically all the layers right so here I can see I have my dimensions I have my window markers my door markers and so forth um, and then these are the set of filters that they're using for the cover sheet okay um, so we've got all of these all of these you can think of all of these objects in blue um, or that have a blue icon next to them those are the filters that are being applied and usually those are titled the same thing as the drawing right so if you um, look at the first floor plan here this this first floor plan uh, lines up exactly if we go back to our layout book with the first floor plan that we have here right where the walls are showing up black we don't have any window or door markers or dimensions um, of course we'll want to see dimensions but We'll I'll go through how to do that in a second. But let's go back to our first floor plan. Um, and then, yeah, so again, these are all uh, a set of filters. And we can edit elevations uh, later once we put in our roof and whatnot. Uh, but that's, that's basically, um, so these are, the, these are the, uh, the drawings themselves, so to speak can think of those as the drawings that go into a sheet okay um, now these these layers the or these drawings are a set of uh, layer combinations and uh, you know with with an, another combination of things such as renovation status uh, pen sets um, and scales all of those are thrown in in there so let me go to first floor plan, right? So I can show you. So I'm gonna right click on first floor plan and then I'm gonna go to view settings, okay? So if I go to view settings, um, it's showing me where it's pulling the images from or the, the objects from, from the first floor story level. Um, and then it's got this layer combination. It's using the 1 8 scale. It's showing the entire model. It's got this pen set. Um, these model view options. We'll go over what some of these are later, but for now we're just kind of using what's what's there for us. Uh, and then for the dimensioning, we've got the schematic plans uh, dimen dimensioning setting preset. So uh, 
<clears throat> there's a couple other things we can do with this, but for now, let's just ignore that. Um, now, what what are these filters or layer combinations and pen sets being applied to? Well, they're being applied to, um, if we go over here to this tab, this is our project map. This you can think of as the basically the list of um, of uh, views or objects. Um, I'm speaking loosely here because this is kind of uh, it's kind of it depends on what you're looking at. So, for example, if we're looking at the stories here, if I go to the first floor, um, right? I'm just I'm here in the first. I'm looking at all the objects in the first floor. Um, but in this case, uh, it's apply it's applying this layer combination. So let me go to all visible and unlocked. Right, so that's kind of how it was showing before, except now our walls are black. Um, now, you can think of stories as a vertical, um, as a vertical location in your three D model. So if you right click on any of the stories and then you go to story settings, um, you can kind of see how they're defined here, right? The first floor starts at the elevation of zero and then um, 10 feet up will take you to the next story, which is the second floor, if you have a second floor. If you don't, you might want to modify these accordingly. Um, usually what I like to do as well is um, I actually like to elevate the first floor a little bit. Um, usually the first floor or I'm sorry, the elevation of zero inches is where um, it's conventional to label the natural grid. So for now, we'll, we'll leave it as it is, but we'll go back and edit that later. Um, but anyway, that's kind of what it, our stories are. They're just a vertical a location on your model, on your 3D model. Um, and it's kind of important. Uh, and we'll see more on that later. Our sections are, are um, those are essentially um, basically generated with these section markers. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. So if I click on this one, it's showing me everything like so. Um, and it's, it's automatically applying, I believe, the layer combination, or I'm sorry, the view that we had for the first floor plan. Um, but if I, if I select a different one, can affect the way this shows up um, so now it's like not showing up with uh, with everything uh, like the cut fills being black right now these these walls are showing as uh, not having or having a white fill so to speak and then our natural grade is showing up with uh, its assigned cut fill um, but anyway uh, this is kind of the most difficult part I would say to understand um, hopefully I kind of explained it okay, but if I didn't, let me know and I'll, I'll try to clarify in another video. Um, but basically, um, yeah, your, your stories are the most important, one of the most important things in your project map. Um, and uh, from there you can apply views, which are essentially your filters, right, layer combinations and so forth. And these essentially will generate your drawings which you will drag and drop eventually into a layout in your layout book. Um, and I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that manually later. Um, but for now, this is kind of, I think, enough for now. The publisher sets, um, these are basically just a collection of all of your pages that you want to publish together, either in a PDF file and whatnot, um, or in a DWG format, or you, in some cases, like even you can publish uh, 3D models. Um, we won't get into how to do that just n just yet, but uh, yeah, that's that's all for now. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to make another video explaining a little bit better. Um, I, I know this can be kind of confusing. This is, I would say again, this is probably the most confusing part of using the software. So if you can get through this, uh, just know once you understand this, uh, you pretty much. Uh, we'll be able to to get through most things and um, and actually start using the software and uh, producing drawings and sharing them with uh, peers and colleagues. So anyway, um, thank you guys for your time. I hope this was helpful.
please like and subscribe.